how to video. Gonna teach you how to do stuff on this video with your host, Smell and Sun Kid with Chongo in the background. Yeah! yeah. Hello, everybody. Smile and Sun Cake here. Along with Chongo. And welcome to how to video number two. This is how to make a let's play. All right, guys. So, Smiling's gonna take it away. All right. First thing you wanna do. This is, I kind of had to hide some stuff since it revealed some information about me. So, <laughs> I have naked pictures on here. Anyways, this is what you guys want to see. Now, in your video, this is for a PC. If you have a Mac, well, you're fucked because I have no idea what to do. If you have a PC, here's what we want to do. In the videos folder, make a folder specifically for your studios, your Let's Play channel, Smiley and Sunkick Studios. I want to be organized, Let's Plays, updates, anything. Okay, I'll get into something else a little later. But anyways, you want to stay organized. Let's plays. Have all of them here ready to go so you have a nice, easy thing to click when you need to upload, all right? But let's get into the up thing, uploading thing. What I use is Windows Movie Maker. And these little files here. I keep every file from old things, from old videos. Now, click on this. Open with Windows Movie Maker. Boom. Now, this is what you're looking at. This is the way we do it, all right? Now, you've got Wait, two did things you here. Cam Studio, the entire screen. Yeah, I did. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Eh, if not, then we'll start over. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I think I did. Sorry. What you want to do? Intros, whatever. You don't really have to worry. The main thing we got here is well, you got a video file, and you've got a audio file. That's how ours does it. Now, first thing, when you record the video file, we do ours in Pinnacle Studio 14. You record it, you save it in a safe spot, we call them capture videos, boom, you save them there. Then you have your audio files, we use a generic sound recorder, easy. And then you save it in a documents file and you drag it in to Windows Movie Player, Mo Movie Maker, big thing. Then the hardest part of making the Let's Play is aligning the video and the audio. What we do, you take a capture video right here cut it up okay well that's not the right video but you know what I mean so you get the raw footage from let's say Super Mario Galaxy and the way we do it is we know exactly where the videos are going to start and end so you go through this and you look you just kinda go through here and I knew okay this episode ends after Shiverburn Galaxy so I go here and I didn't cut it off at the right point but you know what I mean what we did so we cut it off right when it turns into a uh, to the Wii menu screen, so I know that. Make yourself a signal so you know when to cut the capture video. Then you can drag it into your video here. All right. Then the next step, you're gonna want to take your um, your audio file and whatever it is, just drag the whole thing into here. I know that sounds a little crazy. Just drag the whole thing into here. Now it's gonna be a big long file if you record the way we do got to trim it down and then put it line up with that. Thing is, is it's not going to be lined up right away. So what you have to do is what we call a penis test. <laughs> Love the penis test. And see, this is basically what you have to do. Before we record, we always do this. Okay. Sound test. I really hope we don't yell a bad word. Yeah. Whoa. See, the video is really offline at this point. You get the point. You have to, usually we stay on the Wii menu and we go right, left, right, left, fart. <laughs> and that's what you have to do. You have to do something so you can line up the video and the audio and then move this around and then you can really zoom in if you want it to like get real close and then. Mm, we might say a bad word there. Yeah. Um, and you have to zoom real in, and you want to make sure it's lined up the whole time. And that's what you got to do. That's so all it is. you just got to watch your video once you line it up to double check that, one, you have the correct cuts in, two, it's in the right spot at the right time, and if not, just cut it and put it in a different spot. You can, yeah. you can, uh, if, wait, do what you just did. You can go to add effects if you want. Um, and you can like double time speed it by doing yeah, speed up double. Here, this is a big thing. Speed up if you ever want to speed. So that's up. quadruple speed now. So and then see, do, 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 do. it's going real fast. Thing with speeding up, you 
most of the time when you speed up, you're going to play music over it in this case. So you want to cut out the audio for that portion. In this case, Price is Right music. One problem here is you've still got this kind of impeding with it. So come up here, so click, select click, audio, mute. Now what's going to happen here? A there nice, go. nice fail montage. And that's right when we yelled the C word. Anyways, <laughs> so that's how you want to do fail montages of sorts. That's how you put music over and you know how to line stuff up. And thing is, is when you put music in, just make sure when you put the music in, then you, let's say you're making a cut. Oh, cuts. This is actually oh. more important than I thought. With cuts, you see all these cuts here. What you have to remember to do, cut the video, press the split button, cut the audio, press the split button, right? Then you gotta line then them up every time. Let's say all this shit, let's say all this is bad, and then we cut back in here. So then we cut it, make sure you cut both, get rid of that, get rid of this, and just make sure you realign everything. If you realign everything, you come back, everything's still lined up. And look, boom, cut! Look at that. Oh, whoa. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. My computer's lagging because it's slow. And we just recorded like 18 hours of Galaxy, so it has kind of a backed up hard drive. Yeah. Anyways. Make sure your hard drive doesn't have a lot of information yeah. on it, too. I'm going to get to that in just a sec. Um, here's something. I'm not going to go to pictures because I have tons of pictures myself in my ass, so you don't want to <laughs> see that. What you want to do, if you do want to make intros and conclusions like we do, intros, I make them in paint. It's really simple. I don't think you need that. Put a little sound clip. Got yourself an intro. And then for ends of videos, all you do is another sound clip. And you just go to the titles and credits screen right here. And you type in whatever you want to see on the title. Whatever you want. Any, uh, if you want to hear penis in my butt. And you can do whatever you want with it. Like sometimes, you know how I put messages on the screen? That's how I do it. You can click whatever you want. Sometimes you guys see this uh, newspaper for update videos. Whatever you want to do. We use the moving tiles later. Layered for our exits. <laughs> and then you do this. <laughs> so we've gone over intros and conclusions. Lining up your audio and video. And um, I think that's about it. Only other thing is hard drive space. And you see this right here. When The way our videos work is, look at this. The raw capture videos are literally 32 gigabytes, 9 gigabytes, 19 gigabytes. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. It, it happens. Yeah. We've said it before. Yeah. So, what happens is we have literally 72 gigabytes of space in there. And your computer can't take it. So what you got to do, when you're done editing, make sure you delete all the capture videos. Delete the capture videos. Now what we mean by that is save the video that you, you want have to, to save, post in a different file, such as Let's save Plays. Save the edited but videos delete right Delete the here. raw footage. And see, when you have this, you have the full edited thing. And if you did need to make cuts later on, you could just make cuts to the actual edited video. Yeah. And then here. Also, one thing. Oh, okay. Uh, one thing to note is the fact that we use a microphone. We use a dazzle. That's yeah. how we. Uh, the microphone is how you we guys... record the audio. The dazzle is how we record the audio from the TV, and how we record the actual video footage. Yeah, and then if you do use something like a cam studio like this, it'll be a little different. But this is a general way yeah. to do that. And. One thing you can't... Notice how I don't have every episode of the Let's Play. You want to back them up on an external hard drive. Yeah, definitely a good idea to clear some space. You know, just copy it all on an external hard drive and just put it away once, somewhere Once else. I upload these to YouTube, I would end up deleting all that. Yeah. But it would be backed up on my external hard drive in case I ever needed to break them out again, yeah. re-upload, whatever. So you always want to back stuff up. And I think that's it. I, I, let's see. We got titles. We got cutting. We got editing. We got... We got the end, we have how to record, how to, um, all that stuff. Do you want to show them the 16-9 thing, or did we show that, like, a couple long 16. time ago? Um, actually, yeah, we're, we're going to take you guys inside Pinnacle Studio real fast, just to show you the actual, um, the actual video uploading yeah. thing. Now, what you have to do, you have to buy a Dazzle. We use a 
Black Dazzle, I think it's called Dazzle HD. Just look on Amazon, it's, it's one of the first Dazzles you'll see. And it comes, the best thing about that is it comes with Pinnacle Studio HD, which honestly we could edit our videos on this, but it's very confusing. Like yeah. all that shit, it's a lot easier. Windows Movie Maker, you got two lines, it's a lot easier. Now, import button, big thing. You wanna remember that button? This thing, and you this is if you're using Pinnacle Studio import button. 14. 14. I think. Whatever, if you're using Pinnacle Studio, this will probably help. Now it'll take a fucking long time to load and not respond because my computer's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you have any idea what you have to click? Um, mm -hmm. Nah, it'll respond eventually. While we're waiting. <laughs> One other thing is, if you guys want to overlay stuff on top of the video and audio, like here... I put a message, uh, what I put here? Uh, gonna speed up here. So if you ever need to put text messages over, since I don't like using annotations, I'm just old fashioned, I guess, you can go back to the titles and credits screen and just say t uh, title on the selected clip. It'll go down here, title overlay. There so you go. That easy. Another thing you can do, this doesn't feel like responding, which is awesome. Burp! Coming up next week on the show. We're going to have Chongo talk to you guys about Call, Call of Duty. Call of Duty create a class kind of deal. How to uh, create a good class to uh, kill some shit. Hey, there it is. Hey. So you're going to want to click uh, what I believe is other devices. Or DVD Blu-ray? Well, you're actually looking for the no device found oh. button. Because the Dazzle is not plugged into the computer right now. What you want to do is plug in the Dazzle. <laughs> Boom! It is plugged in USB port. Nice and easy. Fuck. Rock. Simple shit. All right, so. I guess it's way too much. Where the no device found is, you should see something that says, um, what, HD Dazzle? Should or say like Dazzle that. DS. DVC 100. That's the type we use. Okay, so you're going to want to click that, and then you're going to want to click. You're going to need your Wii on for this, which, if we have a Wii remote near us, we can turn it on. Bam! Video composite, because that's what you off? use for the Wii. Or does it not TV matter? doesn't even need to be on. That's a whole different shit. Setting the wires up is just a bitch. Um, if you need help with that, too bad. <laughs> you have to get, like, video splitters, and it's just a shit. So, here you go. Look at that. Fucking Wii. Thing is, with this, and if you want to record it in widescreen, just click this little button down here. Make sure your TV set to widescreen. Boom. That's widescreen. Right there. That's all you have to do. Other thing, just you can adjust your settings. Make sure it's on NTSC. Because this is the uh, video, it's a weird thing, but in northern, in North America, we use this type of video, when in Europe, you, they use PAL video. So I don't know what So this is what, what we usually is. do to um, resync the audio, is like, right, right, left, 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 right, left. If you click home, then you go, penis, no, penis, no, penis, no. Yeah. Menu, no. Menu, And you guys no. have seen home, us do this in penis, a few videos. Penis, home. We've left it in, but you have to do... And we do that in between every video just to make sure it's lined up. Yeah, so do that pretty often just in case your Dazzle tweaks. It possibly could drop some frames, something like that. And your Dazzle so will tweak. Just something to note. All right, I think that's about it for this, uh, this how-to video. That's pretty good. That, yeah, was... that was pretty sexy. But yeah, making a Let's Play is not as easy as it sounds. So don't get cocky, all right? Don't it... get cocky. And it takes, it takes a while to get used to, um, but once you get in it, like now, editing videos is a breeze for me. I can do it in a second. Yeah. No problem. All right, By the way, so... having a fast internet, kind of nice. Fast internet helps. 20-minute uploads, so much better than three hours overnight, most of them failing. All right, thank you guys for joining us for this second how-to video. Next coming week up, on next the show. Next week is coming up is going Call to be Call of Duty a something? Call of Duty, probably to start Black Ops, because that's the most recent one. Um, you know, I'll talk about the killstreaks I run, what killstreaks you should run, depending on your skill level, all right? So um, definitely oh. stay tuned for that. And uh, Smiling and has one more thing. Week after that, I was thinking, um, since we told you guys how to make a Let's Play, the week after, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to be a quote-unquote good Let's Player, and also how to gain a little popularity on YouTube.
Alright guys, so uh, thanks for joining us once again, and I uh, hope you do enjoy these videos because there are going to be a lot more to come, alright? Every week. we're enjoying this. We're, it's fun, alright? It's a nice, relaxing break from the heart attack, which is our Let's Play sometimes. <laughs> alright, again, thank you guys for joining us. Stay tuned for next week in which we will do a how-to Call of Duty Black Ops, alright? See, See you guys next, next week. Time. Later, guys.